This is un th dude, this is incredible. That a woman who looks like this is actually going to fix her mouth to ask an honest question about why men date for looks. I have a question. Sure. What you got? Why do like some people date for looks? I just want to know. <laughs> I actually want to hear from you guys. Oh my god. In my opinion, if you date for looks, you're going to hear you're gonna regret it. Oh my god! Oh my. Dating god. for looks is oh something that sugar daddies do. It's like ah. a seeking money mm. arrangement. But mm -hmm. yeah. What is a requirement for you to date somebody? Because mm. for me, I've learned is definitely spiritual alignment. Oh my god! It has to be spiritual alignment. Oh and my god! The reason god. why it has to be spiritual alignment. What for the me hell is, is spiritual because alignment? After setting energy in the way that it goes. And seeing how you can fall out of alignment with someone. And <laughs> that's the reason why we usually actually break up with people. Oh. I don't want to waste my time no more. I'd rather uh, have somebody mm. in my life who's spiritually aligned uh, with me. Yeah, I see. And how I think so we can both rise up together. Mm, mm. What about you? Hmm. I have a question. Okay. So. <laughs> now that we've listened to this all the way through, let's go through and break it down. So the first thing she says is, I have a question. Guys, there are a few telltale uh, TikTok, how can I put this, prefixes, preambles, salutations that tells you that what's about to come out of their mouth is some bullshit. One of them is, I have a question. Another one is, can somebody please explain to me? Whenever a woman says, I have a question, or when they say, will somebody please explain to me, they're about to complain about something. They know the answer. They just want to bitch about it. Ay, 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 ay. Frank Bula said she's a thirst trap and attention seeking W word. I don't know who she's trying to trap. I don't know. I don't know who would fall for this thirst trap. To me, this is not a thirst trap. This is not a thirst trap. Not attracted to that. Let's continue. Question. Why do, like, some people date for looks? I ah, translation. Translation. Why are men attracted to attractive women? <laughs> why, are women why are men attracted to attractive women? This woman is upset. This woman is upset that men aren't picking her. That's what this is. This woman is upset that men aren't picking her because she is unattractive. I just want to know. I actually want to hear. Oh, oh really? Guys. For real? Okay. All right. Because in my opinion, if you date for looks, you're going to you're, mm. you're going to regret it. Oh, yes. If you date for looks, you're going to regret it. No, 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 no. That's not No, 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 no. No. See, sweet cheeks. If you date only for looks, you're going to regret it. But what she is trying to do, she is trying to circumvent the very first prerequisite that I mentioned for a woman to be considered for a long-term relationship and how to properly vet women for relationships. That first prerequisite is be fuckable. Look, man, you can be the most feminine, submissive, whatever woman in the world. If you look like the woman on your screen, it's going to be a hard... No. It's going to be a hard no. This is un... Th dude, this is incredible. That a woman who looks like this is actually going to fix her mouth to ask an honest question about why men date for looks. The nerve. Dating for looks is something that sugar daddies do. It's like a... Ah, here we... Oh, 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 okay. So if we happen to be attracted to a woman that we're pursuing, now we're Johns. Now we're customers. Now we're soliciting working girls. Is that right? Oh, you you like that girl because she's pretty? Psh, you're a sugar daddy. Not if you have game, you don't. Seeking money arrangement, but... Mm. Ah, okay, so what she just did here, what she called all pretty girls, working girls, and, I mean, she's right. She's right. Most sevens, eights, nines, and tens are monetized by the way they look in some way, shape, or form. Strippers, pole dancers, uh, spicy movie stars, OnlyFans girls, you know, 
tag the sponsor, whatever. Whatever the case may be. Whatever the case may be. Right? We get it. But this woman is sitting here trying to shame men. She is trying to draw comparisons between John's and your average, everyday, run-of-the-mill run of man who has a healthy sexual appetite and does not date women who look like she does. Oh, my God. Look, dude, do you see this, do you see this false confusion? She's acting like she's so confused. This bitch knows exactly why she ain't getting shows. What is a... And put on some clothes. ...requirement for you. What is a requirement for me? How can I, how can I, how can I put this as delicate as I can? Don't be fat. We'll start right there. We'll start right there. Don't be overweight. That's, that is the requirement. That is the requirement for you. Don't be overweight. Let's start right there. To date somebody. Because for me, I've learned is definitely spiritual alignment. Oh my God. Here we go. Here we go. More of this subjective, nebulous nonsense. What on earth is spiritual alignment? What is spiritual alignment? What in the world is spirit? Did spiritual alignment forget to tell you to put on your clothes for this video? Did spiritual alignment tell you that dudes are not trying to see overweight women with no clothes on TikTok? Lucy Lioness? What the hell is spiritual alignment? What is this, the zodiac signs? Ay, 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 ay. It has to be spiritual alignment. <laughs> and the reason why it has to be spiritual alignment for me is... The reason why it has to be spirit. See here, the reason why it has to be, has to be spiritual alignment for her is because she wants it to be spiritual alignment for us. And, it, and if it starts with spiritual alignment, that means we can look, that means we have to look past her exterior. Not looking past your exterior, sweetheart. Kind of hard to do that. There's a lot of it there. Not falling for it. Listen, man, just like somebody just said in the chat, you can't negotiate attraction. You can't do it. You can't do it. You can't negotiate attraction. This woman is trying to indirectly shame us for being attracted to attractive women. Listen, the, the 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 creator, the creator designed us to like women about a third of your size. There's nothing we can do about that. There's nothing we can do about that. It's because after studying energy in the way that it goes. Oh, studying energy in the way that it goes. Oh, so you're a physicist now? Is that it? And seeing how you can fall out of alignment with someone and translation lose attraction for them. That's the reason why we usually actually break up with people. <laughs> no, the reason you actually break up with people is because you're fucking other niggas. <laughs> and you like that other nigga for hell. <laughs> I like how she tried to laugh. She tried to laugh as a verification of the truth. Well, the little known secret, that's actually the reason we break up with you guys. <laughs> Let me just admit that. <laughs> Bitch, please. Who are you trying to fool? Women don't even break up with dudes anymore. They swing, they, they, they swing from one branch to the next. Fuck out of here. I don't want to waste my time no more. I'd rather have somebody in my life who's spiritually aligned with me. Sweetheart, if a Tay Diggs, Shamar Moore-ass nigga walked into your house right now, you wouldn't be worried about spiritual alignment. Stop the cat. Stop the Dude, cap. fuck all this noise. Get out of here. Get out of here. Fuck out of here, man. She ain't fooling nobody. And how I think so we can both rise up together. Yeah. Oh, so we can both rise up together. Normally, that would be an attractive prospect. But just judging by what I've seen on the screen, ain't nobody rising up with you, baby girl. You see, since you're a physics major, there's this thing called gravity. And the more mass an object has, well, the more gravity it commands. The more gravity it commands, the less likely it is to go up. So if you're looking to rise with somebody, you're going to have to lose some weight. 